Hi there. Hello, I'm Brian. I'm with the Suffolk Peace Network, and uh, we're here in front of BAE, uh, Pulaski Road in Greenlawn today, March 6, 2010, uh, trying to call attention to uh, the production of these unmanned aerial drones, the killer drones that uh, this company manufactures at uh, great profit. Um, and uh, we're here in opposition to uh, the use of these weapons indiscriminately, killing civilians and in effect spreading terror around the world, uh, you know, in parts of the world that are uh, under uh, attack. And uh, we need to uh, call attention to their uh, motivation. They're a for-profit company that benefits off their uh, uh, weaponry. But do we really benefit off it? I don't think so. Uh, the United States economy is in complete shambles. Um, our population is uh, struggling for survival. And the people in that area of the world are literally struggling for survival. Uh, many people have been killed, uh, untold, really, the number of people who have been killed. Uh, we don't seem to hear about it in the, in the uh, corporate media. Uh, so uh, join us the uh, first Saturday of every month out here and uh, stand with us. Uh, you know, we need to have an end to this uh, policy of uh, unending war and get back to uh, providing goods and food and services for people and uh, make a better world. We can work things out diplomatically. We don't have to be, uh, you know, resorting to bombing all the time. This is just an escalation of the uh, militarism that we've uh, been, uh, you know, under so long. All right, so thanks again. Hi, my name is Sheila Cook. I'm a resident here of Green Lawn uh, for many years. And uh, only recently did I come upon the information that BAE Systems is involved in uh, weapons manufacturing. I never really knew what was going on, but I stopped in one day and um, didn't get much information. Then I checked with Google and then went on from there. And it seems that BAE is a huge international weapons manufacturer. I think it's the second largest in the world and they've um, established in the U.S. now in 29 different states. And uh, they don't all make the same products, but they have four main concentrations. So here they are involved in a very highly advanced technical work, surveillance uh, type work, and also internationally they're involved in the drones which is the hot topic now, the hottest military gadget, which is really changing the whole face of, of war. Because they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, some tiny little ones the size of a sparrow. And uh, drones, we feel, are illegal and immoral. And there's no accountability for who they kill. Uh, no one's really reporting about them that specifically. They're not accurate even though they claim to be accurate. And they kill uh, for every target, so-called enemy, one target, more than 50 civilians. That's the ratio, 50 to 1. So that's why we're here at, out here today to make other Green Lawn citizens aware of what's in their own backyard. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ray. I'm here with uh, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm here with uh, Long Island Veterans for Peace. And we're demonstrating against uh, BAE, the corporation that manufactures uh, drones that are being used to kill uh, civilians in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, my experience with drones goes back to the early 1970s when I was in the Navy. Uh, I was in the aviation, uh, the air wing. And I remember that we had a squadron on the base, uh, VX-1, that was uh, building experimental drone aircraft. I used to hang out with some of the uh, airmen, and I asked, you know, what's the purpose of this? And they said, well, eventually, you know, we're going to be having warfare where we won't have manned aircraft like we do now. And uh, really never gave it any thought until uh, I started hearing about what was going on in Afghanistan, where the... Uh, drones are being used and uh, they're being piloted 
uh, by um, and I mean in places like uh, Nevada uh, this country also has uh, drones that are patrolling both the Canadian and the Mexican border uh, yeah, yeah, another thing that concerns me is you know we don't know whether these drones are watching us as well so it's a major concern for us so I like basically I like to just uh, you know end the killing Uh, my name is Mary Donahue. I'm an RN for a lot of years, and I'm here today to try to do what I can to stop the needless killing. There's so much suffering in the world today, and whatever we can do to open our hearts to the people in the world that are suffering the way we are beginning to now, it's difficult all around, and this is a needless war. Hi, my name is Mac Bika. I'm the coordinator of Veterans for Peace Long Island. And uh, we're here in front of the uh, BAE systems because we want, to, um, uh, we want to let everyone know what's going on here. That this is, this, is a, uh, this is a place right in our own backyard where they make munitions for war, where they, where they make parts for the drones that are, that are um, out there right now killing people all over the world. So we just want to say to everyone, look, not in our backyard. We need to stop this. This war is going on. We're in our ninth year already. Uh, we had hoped that with the new administration that this war w would be brought to an end. But all we have seen is um, escalation and the continuation of killing and dying. We think that it has to stop now. Uh, the, the peace movement uh, is the conscience of this country, the conscience of the nation. We need, we, we need to get out in the street again. We, we, we haven't gone away. We've been patient with the Obama administration. We tried to give Obama and his administration time. We understood he came in and inherited a lot of things. But you know what? It's, it's no longer uh, Bush's war. It's now Obama's war. And Bam Obama has to sleep at night knowing that people are dying in his name, in his war. Afghanistan now, and Pakistan, and Yemen. I mean, the wars continue, the occupations continue, and we need to let our feelings be known. At a time when our economy is in crumbles, where we're bordering on collapse, we can't afford a $3 trillion war. Not only is it immoral, but it's impractical. Anyone who knows anything about counterinsurgency warfare understands that you don't win these, you don't achieve victory through military uh, uh, operations. You don't achieve victory by, by killing innocents. You need to win the hearts and minds of the people, and you don't do that when you bomb with drones and, 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 and kill women and children. We need to stop. We need to stop now.